What in the world just happened? Yeah. They did a lot of duck hunting, but this right here is hard to beat. <laughs> I, I don't think it could have gone better. It's April 2nd. I'm on my way to go to my buddy Kyle's house. Uh, it's early. I'm going to pick him up and we're actually heading to his lease in Georgia, southern Georgia. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's not too bad, so that's why we decided to just leave this morning. He's got trail cameras up and he's been getting pictures of birds, so we didn't feel a need to go up there and try to scout them and find them. We know where they're going to be at and when they're going to be there. Which side do you want me to put all my stuff on? birds goblin close to where we're at we heard one about it's probably close to 700 yards back behind us so we're gonna move and go to see and go walk to this property edge property line down here see if we can strike anything up if not we're gonna go back and try to pick up on that bird Back in the truck, we're gonna go drive around to the other gate and um, go in that way. That's gonna be the, the easiest way to get to where that bird was gobbling this morning. Um, we only heard him a few times, but I think he was just far enough to where after he flew down, we, we wouldn't have heard him anymore. He was probably seven or 800 yards on the tree. And it was just such a calm, clear, more than that I think we would be able to hear him that far The road yeah that bird is killable if we can get him to cross this road no
Dang it, man. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Where can we hide this truck? That bird ain't far either. <clears throat> let's go. Let's just go in the woods and let's just go in the woods this way and try to call them across that way. Huh? Um, 200. these thorns. Keep trying to pull them this way. Can you shoot to the left of that tree? Is that possible? No. Far left as I can go. Okay.
dude. What just happened? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about, man. Bro, what in the world just happened? Yeah. You couldn't have asked for something better. <laughs> Heard a gobble. Rob started calling. And oh, man. He followed our every move. Man, that was killer. And you had a pretty clear shot on there? Yeah, that was the first first I had him in view of a shot, it was, and I took it. Bro, that's a stud. That happened so quick, man. Check out that rope, dude. God. Congratulations, man. Thanks, man. Heck yeah. That is a good bird. That is a good bird. We are, we are, um, I don't know, 50 yards from where cars are driving down the road. <laughs> Probably see it. You can probably see the truck park. I mean, the truck's not more than 60 less than yards. 100 yards. Oh yeah, easy. Man. So <clears throat> this morning we didn't hear we didn't hear anything really, and um, we heard one bird gobbling back this way. He only gobbled like three times that we could hear. So we uh, we sat till about sunrise. And then we decided that we needed to go ahead and move. So we packed up our stuff and um, we came over to this side, which is where we thought we heard that bird goblin. And um, we actually drove over here. We parked 60 yards from where we just killed him at. I got out of the truck. My first calling sequence, um, he gobbles across the, the road over here on another piece of property. And, um, so we come in to here cause I thought that was a killable bird for sure. By the way that he was gobbling, um, he was gobbling every time I called. So I was like, well, let's go give him a chance. So we, we came in through the woods here because the truck was parked there. We had nowhere to hide it. So, um, I decided, I was like, well, let's come into the woods a little ways. That way we don't pop him out on the road directly across from the truck. And um, so we came into the woods, found some, found a little open area, just found the first brush pile we could find to climb in. Called, called again. He was about 150, and then from then, it, he was on a rope. He came right in, came across the road. I saw him poke his head up from on top of the road, came across the ditch, and then I mean, you all saw it, just blow up, strutting, right in here, and um, came over here and gave Kyle a shot. So. What are your thoughts? I, I don't think it could have gone better. Um, like Rob said this this morning, you know, I really anticipated that right off the rip this morning we were gonna have a bird goblin based on what what we've been seeing with the property and the area we were in, and it was quiet, nothing. Rob made the ultimate decision to you know let's move around, and it it paid off. We uh, like Rob already said, hopped out the truck, bird fired off, and. Uh, he was on a rope. Uh, couldn't have asked for a better hunt. Thank you, Rob, for your calling and, and coming with me. Uh, this was awesome, man. So they did a lot of duck hunting, but this right here is hard to beat. <laughs>